we started this study with the intent of showing that just food for dogs diets were nutritionally adequate as fed over a period of time. That was the intent of the studies and we found so much more than that. We found an unexpected result that not only are they nutritionally adequate that, uh, and healthy for the dog, but that they actually can benefit the immune system. Because we were measuring blood parameters that even weren't necessarily a part of the study, but because we were curious to see how the overall health was impacted and we were going a little bit even beyond what traditional feeding trials would do, we found changes in blood parameters that were something we weren't looking for and even, I have to say, a little bit unexpected. And again, unexpected in a positive way, not in a negative way. And what was striking about the findings was how similar it was among all of the dogs that were enrolled in the study. It wasn't just one or two dogs having some minor changes. It was the entire population of dogs moving along and improving in the same direction. Well, some of the important parameters that we measured in this study had to do with blood proteins. And while all the blood proteins were normal at the beginning of this study, many of the animals were either at, at a high end or a low end of the normal. They weren't right in the middle. And some of those, it's actually better if they're on the lower side of normal. And some of them, it's actually better if they're on the higher end of normal. And what we found is that they moved in those directions. They moved in the direction that would signify that not only did they maintain their normal range, but they improved the healthier side of normal really piqued our curiosity, why is that happening? It wasn't something we anticipated, it wasn't something we hypothesized, but what we're finding through further uh, evaluation of the data is that it had an effect on the animal's immune system in a positive way. What's also really significant about the data was that none of the animals, not one of them, deteriorated or did worse. They all improved in some ways, and all of the animals ended up thriving on the food, um, both from a subjective assessment of how they behave, their energy levels, their weight, and their overall well-being. And then their blood uh, gave us some evidence that they were not only just thriving, but they were actually improving their health over time. Maybe when animals are on a kibbled food or on a commercial diet, they may not be the cleanest diets on earth. They may have a little bit of bacterial contamination, nothing to cause necessarily illness in dogs that are maintained on it, but enough to stimulate the immune system in very specific ways where it was maybe overtaxing the immune system a little bit. And what we found was when the animals were switched to whole foods, that that overtaxing of the immune system seemed to go away and their immune system actually got stronger over time as opposed to a little bit weaker. So if an animal, if a dog has an immune system that's being compromised, that's being continuously challenged, but their blood values stay within a normal range, someone might ask, well, why does that make a difference? Well, we know from an animal health, from a veterinary perspective, consistently challenging the immune system in a negative way can have negative effects on the dog's health. Regular old commercial dog food has definitely increased the lifespan. However, while that lifespan has increased, we've also noticed chronic diseases that really weren't prevalent before the advent of commercial pet food. So dental disease, very common. Cancers, very common. Skin diseases, very common. In the veterinary world, we often conclude, well, it's because animals are living longer. And as soon as they've lived long enough to develop these aging problems, they'll occur. Well, we're excited because our data is showing that, well, maybe those diseases are actually preventable if you get the nutrition even better. Imagine if, if these trends continued across the lifespan of 12, 14, 16 years, we might see dramatic changes in overall health and quality of life in geriatric dogs. Maybe some of these chronic diseases 
we won't see. Maybe we won't see inflammatory bowel disease the way that we see it currently in practice. Maybe we won't see pancreatitis. These are ideas that we're floating around, but they're based on sound science. They're based on a sound logical thought process around it. And we're excited to see uh, how we can continue to impact animal health in a very positive way through whole food nutrition.